let's see if I'm actually streaming or not. Uh, seems not. Am I uh, am I live? Um, okay. Yep. I'm I'm alive. Half alive. Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to this new episode of Inside the Mind of a Hive Player. Uh, that is basically the second game of my match against uh, Comb Life commented. Um, so last time um, I, w I played black, um, I won a game as black, so um, the other two games are um, that I have to play as white. Um, I remember a match um, is out of four games, the first one to get 2.5 points wins. So I have a good advantage here because I, I have to play twice as white in a row and um, and I won already. But uh, as you will see it doesn't doesn't mean like that you can relax um, especially in hive if you um, if you play a move that is not very accurate, uh, very precise, then you can easily lose the um, first player advantage and then it doesn't really matter if you're white or black anymore but of course as white you have a, um, a certain advantage so I hope I um, I hope to to keep that advantage um, at least to secure a draw um, as I have another white to to play for a win but well let's let's dive into the game um, I'm speaking too much as usual I'm the anti-streamer because there is no, no one uh, watching but that's fine I want to this to be also a video that people can watch later on um, so it doesn't matter if I don't have actually I'm not gonna uh, look at the comments uh, very very much let's add uh, I have a look at the chat just in case but okay so um, I played a white beetle and he plays a black ladybug um, and this opening that um, has been quite quite trendy uh, since 2020, I would say. Uh, before then, um, it was not very much used. And um, this one is called um, J configuration. I mean, there's a like reverse J, but imagine that the position of the two queens form a sort of J. Um, the fact that this unusual is that White plays. Um, their queen in a line with uh, the other the first two pieces um, normally uh, is advised to place your queen um, here on the sides and so you could get um, um, the the y the c or the z um, opening depending on where black plays place um, their queen uh, but um, this one was considered um, a bit weaker the reason is mainly that um, if your queen is here, to free your first bag, in case you need to, to defend, of course, um, you only need one bag here, one extra bag here. Uh, well, if it's here, clearly um, it's harder to free your first bag. But the idea is here that if you play the, the pill bag as a first bag, uh, then you don't... Um, then you don't need to... Um, you, you don't really care about freeing this bug, but um, you actually decide to place the pill bug first and then it's gonna be um, like you don't have to worry about placing your pill bug anymore uh, later in the game and you can focus on the attack. So it's actually more aggressive than you, you would think. Um, but well, let's go on and um, um, so black just um, answers with a typical um, setup, the ladybug and the mosquito together, uh, and the queen in this compact way. 
now white has a couple of uh, options uh, one is just to attack straight uh, the queen pin here west with queen um the, it could place another ant or another mosquito down um but i think this one that i played is one of the most annoying variation um i know some players um, are not worried about this uh, but honestly i find i find it really annoying and it's actually the way i lost against doobie um and in well one of the games that i lost i lost three games i think uh, against to be in the um, in the match in the semi-finals uh sorry in the quarterfinals um the point is that the mosquito is pinned here and if you wanna free the mosquito you're gonna lose a lot of time and uh, if you don't care about uh, this and you just keep placing pieces um you're basically gonna play the whole game without mosquito um so the, the most natural um re reply is this one um you place the pill back down so that if white doesn't really anchor the, their ant here um you can use the mosquito as a pill bug to just warp the ant away and uh, um and then you have the mosquito free so what do you what i normally do and many people in many players usually do is to anchor your own ant um, where um, what well, are to question where and what piece you use um, I think this is the most accurate uh, mainly because uh, against um, this maneuver you, you always have um, this, um, uh, this this option uh, no wait sorry I mean this, this option <laughs> Um, so you, you can cover the pill bug and yeah of course the mosquito is free but um, but the, the pill bug is uh, is gone um, well if you if you place it uh, on the other side um, or, or or here this problem um, doesn't exist anymore for for black um, and you cannot actually go on, on you climb up with a beetle because the mosquito will cover it and then um, then this is good for black um, you basically gain two pieces at once so yeah no, it's pretty bad for, for white um, so I think this is the best way um, of course using a beetle to anchor is probably not the, the, the most cheap uh, <laughs> way to do it because um, at some point it could be pinned um, and you basically commit to use that beetle somehow but um, but what I, I think is one of the best ways but other people will um, would disagree and uh, they will use a spider for example or or even a ladybug um, black plays another ant and and see here I basically give the um, black the opportunity to pin my beetle because if I if I mm, uh, don't don't leave this opportunity to black, um, I think this becomes just too the game is too slow um, for for me. Um, I'm not sure this attack is is actually anyhow good. Uh, maybe maybe it's a bit too early, um, but I don't want to give this opportunity to to black anyway. Um, probably it is too early, but I mean, black black is not forced uh, to play that. He could just play this, uh, and then um, block here, and at least I removed all the spawn points from here. And I mean, this is another game. I think it's still playable, but um, I I have left the opportunity for 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 black to do it. I just decide to go on with my development um, and actually yeah he, he doesn't really care about my beetle um, I think it's that's it's a good choice because the beetle is still slow as I as I said um, and um, it pins my my ant now uh, as always when you pin a bug you have to think where's the best place where to pin mm, from um, and there are usually two or even three choices 
um, in this case I, I will say the choices are this one or this one and of course they both have advantages and disadvantages the main thing is that playing here it would um, take this spawn point from me which is usually quite useful um, but of course this pin is not um, a true pin because it can always be uh, broken if white manages to or even if black uh, attacks the, the queen and it will free the ant um, <clears throat> so I'm it's probably good what uh, no sorry it's probably good what uh, what black did but um yeah i can't say for sure there are, there are pros and cons um but i take advantage immediately of what um of what black has done um so i use the spawn point immediately for my mosquito what i'm gonna do with this mosquito is not clear but uh yet but i i could likely uh, attack the queen very quickly um this spider here um I mean, the, the, the main idea, of course, is to pin the queen. Um, and then if you use a spider to, to attack, uh, it's, quite, uh, I mean, it's quite convenient. Uh, but it's probably a bit slow. Um, I could use now right now the mosquito here to attack. Um, and... Um, and uh, and uh, yeah, I could, use, I could use the same power to um, warp the, the pill bag away. Or uh, or go here and um, just planning to place a beetle here somewhere. But I think I played a different move, a bit more defensive, a bit more conservative. That is, uh, wait, <laughs> that is uh, this move. I played a, a grasshopper here, so I basically avoid um, the spider pinning my my bee. And uh, um, a grasshopper is usually a good um, defensive piece. So, and you place it here. Uh, well, I I, prob I probably could have placed it here as well. The important thing is that um, when the, even if the grasshopper gets pinned by the spider, um, again the spider doesn't pin it in um, in a with a true pin, so not in line. And the spider needs like it, it can't. Uh, readjust the pin like an ant. So if it was an ant, it could then at some point move here to reorganize the attack, but the spider can't. So it, it's much better for uh, for me. Um, I mean, it, it's still a pin piece, but uh, in terms of pros um, uh, perspective of attack, um, it's a good idea uh, for me. So, but well, it doesn't. Um, but I decided to pin, no, not there, uh, sorry, I decided to place it here. Um, he doesn't pin it straight away. He places a spider here to pin my ant here at some point, I think. Um, and I decided to climb immediately with, uh, with a beetle. Um, I place another ant. So, um, and now, yeah, maybe I should have, like, wait a bit. To, to cover the mosquito. Uh, the problem though is that if I pin their ant, um, then I will lose the mosquito um, for good, because this pin is is impossible to 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 break. Well, unless the the shape of the hive change consider considerably. Um, so I need to find something else to do with this mosquito or uh, just place something else. Um, the problem is if I place an ant, I don't have good spawn points here because the spawn points near to, near to the grasshopper means that then this ant can, can pin effectively two bugs at the same time. If I place an ant here, uh, same thing. So the ant would... Uh, take uh, basically two ants for one uh, so definitely not good um, so so yeah I think this was my my reasoning so I decided to um, just cover the mosquito and free my my ant 
um, with the idea that the spider now could have um, been my aunt, but um, probably had to um, pin my mosquito first. It's more, it is, is, um, it's more urgent. And at the same time, he pins against my, my B, so not bad. Um, the only problem is, again, that um, as it happened similarly for black before, the mosquito has a pillback power, so it could actually move the ant at some point somewhere. Here I played something that is a bit, um, might be a bit counterintuitive, because as we said, actually the mosquito could warp the ant at some point um, away. So it was actually, black, it's black, it's actually black that should have been worried to to keep the, the ant here in place, um, anchoring um, with another piece. Uh, so it seems that I actually um, I, I give black um, something to wor less to worry about. <laughs> um, but well, first I need to move this ant, otherwise the spider is gonna take it. So definitely I need to move it. Possibly this was a better move. Um, with the idea that, okay, I don't really care about the spider and this ant, but I need to move it and this is one of the most useful places and wherever black plays an ant or a grasshopper, oh, sorry, or a beetle, I can still move the ant again and, and pin and shift the pin. Um, but let's see how the game, the game went. Uh, this way, okay. Now the spider finally takes the grasshopper. Um, I I am um, I pin the mosquito underneath, so of course this is not useful now. But you have to free the beetle at some point. Um, otherwise, whenever the beetle uh, moves, then the mosquito will recover, and then it's not good. So uh, no, no. So yeah, so the spider here, uh, this is natural. Now I decided to uh, shift the pin. So this is the last ant black can place. And um, and as we said, the ant here can always be uh, warped away, right? So um, it's actually not particularly useful for me to keep this and um, blocked here um, and this makes more sense because he also pins uh, two two bags at the same time I I pin it in a, with a bent pin uh, elbow pin because um, at some point I can I can use another uh, bag like a spider here to replace the pin um, yeah now what did play yeah he take advantage of this first as i said to anchor the ant and second this beetle could climb up and cover my mosquito and then i might get in trouble the good thing though in my position is that i have uh one three four five six bugs available and he has only four bugs available um which means that he also has to be careful um because if he runs out of of bugs um then it doesn't matter if his position is promising um but it's not gonna it's not gonna win in the end. The the other um, well no just I want to as a comment um, as I said at the beginning I play white so I was supposed to go for an attack and try to uh, take advantage of the first player uh, to exploit the first player advantage right but um, it seems that it's actually black <laughs> attacking me. Um, I was probably, I've been probably slow with this plan, you know, with the beetle going up, um, and so now I'm under a bit of pressure. But, um, but yeah, I was not feeling too confident, but, um, well, I need to defend, basically. I decided that, well, the problem is also that I don't really have a good way to attack, because I don't have many spawn points available here, um, so I don't know where to place pieces that could actually attack. Um, the other good thing of this ant is that create a gate here. 
so that whenever I um, attack here, um, it will create a ring and free the black ladybug. Um, so this configuration is particularly good for um, for black, and um, yeah, this ant um, is especially good. So I understand why he wants to keep the the beetle. The, sorry, the ant here. Um, I basically let him go up with a beetle. The alternative was just to <laughs> go back here, but I I felt there was too many moves out moving the ant uh, up and up and down back and forth i don't honestly i don't know and he could have uh, you know forced really a beetle if he wanted to like here for example um and then i don't have any uh, ant available so i thought okay i can't prevent him from from actually get a beetle um so i will um focus on mobility getting this ant free and uh, uh, here is he preparing the um, the pin replacement. Um, of course, he will cover my mosquito, and he also get the ant free again. Uh, but I I noticed that, and I I block um, the ant. So um, what was his next move? He placed the beetle here. Maybe this was not the best move. So um, the thing is, this beetle. So let's analyze how black can try to win. What what's the plan for black? I wouldn't say what's the plan for white to win because I honestly I don't have a an effective plan at the moment. I I need to think about defense and then once I know I am not gonna lose, then then I will think about my my plan. But yeah, what, so what's plan for black? Um, so this beetle needs to cover. Uh, the pill bug or the queen at some point probably the pill bug is more effective this ant is amazing to block my ant here um, the only problem might be that this mosquito can go out at some point if I place some something here um, but um, I I mean it's not um, I'm not gonna lose quickly but the plan is is to take this spot and then the last spot, um, so this first spot uh, southeast and then the northeast spot, uh, just by um, by going in with a uh, with the ant. Um, so the plan is not like to articulate, um, and uh, um, if you imagine this spider pinning my spider. Then this spawn point that is just created by the beetle is useful for another beetle who, co who can get uh, in here. Um, or the alternative is to, um, well, let's say this. Um, there is this one, this alternative, uh, which I think is, it doesn't matter um, much if um, it pins my beetle because. I can go then here, uh, sorry, he can go then actually then here, and um, and this ladybug is free to go here, so it's basically threatening to win in one and two. Um, of course, I I can take the ant here, so it actually I I don't lose uh, that quickly, but um, well, I, I need to be I need to be careful, I think. Um, where can I go? Uh, well, for example, here, and then um, no, maybe not here. But well, um, this is not the best variation. But it's uh, I, I think I need to be careful. Um, so, okay, this is the the plan I think, but. Um, well, how to realize it properly um, is another is another thing. So he played actually this beetle here, uh, which I think he could have um, kept in in the in the reserve for for a better champ, a better occasion. But um, the the other thing is that the position gets quite closed. Um, in the sense that there are a lot of gates around, especially this gate, 
um, and um, it might at some point be created a gate here if someone plays if I pin one of these two ants um, so I feel beetles are more uh, valuable than, than, than ants so I don't care um, if this ant is free of course I don't know if I'm correct the, the, the game uh, told me I was correct but who knows now he played this move which is uh, it's a bit weird I think this I'm not sure if it's a mistake but it's surely risky um, because it doesn't so the idea uh, as as we were talking bef about before um, would be to take uh, this spot first and then this one um, or the other way around take this spot northeast and then um, southeast the problem if you take northeast first is that this uh, this grasshopper would be free um, so he, he, he put the grasshopper in a bi-directional pin and um, it, yeah, it, it just blocks the grasshopper from moving. The problem is that I also pin um, his hand um, and it's not clear if this actually was a good exchange for him. The other um, more prosaic but I, I feel more safe uh, was this um, just mm, taking some mobility out of me um, I could go here uh, probably but um, there's still black has three grasshoppers uh, it could play a pin replacement here as well the thing is that it doesn't if he had uh, if I had a spider here then it would be probably bad because it doesn't matter what I replace then the spider pins the ant um, but in this position I don't think he can do much um, if you do something like this, you know, I go here, um, and then my ant is free. Um, so, um, and then once you do this pin replacement, then again you you, you go for a plan like um, the one that we saw before, um, covering my pill bag, um, and then using the ant to go here. And yeah, I feel um, it's slower, but more probably more effective. Um, yeah, so okay, no. what I actually what he actually plays is this, and I um, and I pin his hand. So, what I what he does next is to uh, pin my mosquito here, similar to what I've done pinning his mosquito. And so that the beetle can actually move without releasing the, the mosquito. Um, now I came up with this maneuver. Um, so honestly, I didn't have. I, I think I, I thought for quite long here. Uh, or, or maybe before. Um, so what's my what's my plan here? Um, again, he's, he, he might win playing. Um, covering my 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 pill bug uh, and um, and then placing maybe grasshopper here to take the spot um, and uh, and what else let's see well the thing is I I can't really attack right now okay um, there's not much to do and if I play this one the mosquito warps my spider away so definitely this is not a good idea right now um, and I don't have much like I don't have a big, big plan um, so the idea of this move no wait not this move <laughs> this move um, was to create another um, gate here um, placing, the, placing the debug here and free the spider which could be used to um, pin this ant after um, my white ant um, shifts here um, of course it, this seems a bit like a complicated plan but um, I think he has um, he has some logic um, assuming he cannot uh, win uh, quickly and I didn't see a um, finishing sequence for him so I just went for what I thought was the the best, um, like without actually losing. 
Okay, ah, okay, this was the his plan. So, um, creating a ring here that will release the, the beetle. Basically, shift the pin of my ant from the beetle to the grasshopper. Um, so I decide to um, take the take the grasshopper, um, even freeing the ant. As I said, with all these gates, the ants are less valuable than other pieces. So I feel this should be this ant will be used for something else. Um, well, he doesn't have a plan right now, so he decides just to shift the pin and and um, and wait basically. Um, well, not not just wait. But um, the idea is also you could use the grasshopper here, for example, place the grasshopper here to um, get back, get in, and achieve the same idea he would have um, achieved with with this grasshopper. It's it's unclear if it's enough to win, but um, if you have two beetles on top of the hive, it starts to be uh, it starts to be quite scary, <laughs> um, especially since. Um, if this beetle takes this spot northeast, then the other beetle is ready to take southeast. Um, he plays. Um, I I play. Sorry, I play this move because I think I had to take away this spawn point uh, and eventually, um, eventually pin also this ant. Once he doesn't have any more free ant, then. It doesn't have also any other spawn point, so, um, so yeah. The, the the other idea is that if if he plays the grasshopper here, which was um, like natural, if he wants to get the grasshopper here and free the beetle, I take um, I take both. This would be surely a mistake. Um, and then black doesn't have any more pieces, no plan, and then game over. Um, so he actually decided to go for something different. So he shifts the pin. Um, of course, I cannot move my um, my ant um, anywhere because otherwise uh, the, the beetle would be free, and then it's like wherever I go with this ant, um, I lose in in two moves. Um, notice also that the gra the mosquito here that um, is pinned. I could have um, placed something here to release it, but there's no way for me to to get any piece in here because of this gate. Um, so yeah, it's it's not it's not very easy for me. Um, so he decided to to shift the pin here. I think his idea was um, so if he managed to put a a, um, a piece here. Then I mean I think that's the best plan plan he has. Um, I don't see anything else interesting he can do. Um, basically, because because there are no no other spawn points and no good angles of attack, and um, he needs to take this spot um, somehow. Mm, maybe uh, maybe something like this could have been an idea. With the idea of going here and then jump here, uh, and if I play this, uh, then if if I take this grasshopper, um, then um, this situation seems a bit dangerous for me. Um, I mean, I'm not saying I'm gonna lose uh, the spot, but. Uh, it seems a bit. It seems more dangerous than the game. I think. Um, yeah, I don't think he can really stop this this maneuver. Um, and if he doesn't do anything else, we have the mosquito to get in in here. Um, can he? Can he actually do something else? Um, hmm, that's a good question. It doesn't seem so. I wouldn't say so. Um, so I think this was definitely um, a better plan. Um, let me know if you find actually a solution for this. Um, but the, the other the, the other plan that I that I saw um, after this move um, was um, no sorry no this is the move that I cannot do. Uh, 
Okay, so I, I, I've I seen um, only this plan, so put place in the grasshopper here, and uh, once it's in here, it um, goes up with and down with the beetle. Um, so I, I decided to play something against this plan, which is this. Um, it seems quite <laughs> weird, why would it place the grasshopper there? But um, the idea is simple, in a way. That is uh, to free to pre swamp this uh, grasshopper here. So whenever um, this place is taken, this grasshopper can can jump out. In this case, it can't because this ant uh, this ant is pinning the grasshopper. But the gra another piece here would uh, create a different connection. So okay, here um, now if you play something like this then it creates a ring and then I go out um, and now now I, I'm suddenly in a good position he has this weird string of bugs here um, and he needs to, to cover my, my queen otherwise I will just um, move away and then um, all the, his advantage is gone um, but still still I quite like the position I have a free Two free ants, um, even this one, because this grasshopper is not gonna go anywhere. So yeah, it is a disaster for 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 black. Um, but the problem is that once you place the grasshopper here, you basically are committed for that. Um, he decided to play uh, something different, cover my my queen because he saw clearly that it was not a good idea. Um, probably with the idea of covering this grasshopper, but still, once the, mm, the ring is created, uh, then the queen can be warped away, my queen. So, um, at this point, I was actually feeling much better. I don't know if I was gonna win, um, but um, it seems that the attack from black was um, was gone at this point he, he decided to play this anyway but this this is just suicide as I said um, it's very similar to the position I was showing the variation I was showing before um, this is how the game actually went uh, but at this point there's not much to do yeah there's this idea trying to free this this ant um, but um, I can jump out with the grasshopper and it creates another ring, uh, but there's also this ring is suicidal. I think that the best thing here for black was to slowly defend again, and um, probably probably something like this, something like this. Um, and and now I know it's um, like a blunt. Uh, change of perspective because black was uh, was on the way on, on its attack and then and then there's nothing to do now he only needs to defend but uh, really there's not much to do so I think this placing the grasshopper here was the the final mistake maybe there is still uh, something here um, I still have this idea clearly, um, but um, better than here probably. Um, the be the the best thing was actually after my move. Um, uh, what did he play? He played this move, P probably playing this immediately. Um, so when I play my idea here. Um, he has still he has this ant uh, free for the moment at least and um, I can I can well uh, he can <laughs> I'm trying to, to find something for black here uh, probably there is nothing once this grasshopper here is it's game over for, for black and this is also why this uh, streaming is called uh, the best offense is the defense. Once you defend in the best way and uh, your opponent has used all their pieces, then they either have to admit their 
their defeat and go back and defend or they just attack straight blindly and then um, at that point is, is a suicide so this no wait the game went no this is not how the game went um, okay here 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 okay here and here okay at this point yeah uh, as I said this move is suicide and uh, the rest of the game um, is is a bit less interesting um, mainly because at this point I think he yeah after this super ring um, which is actually pretty bad for him I um, I free my mosquito and uh, he doesn't have uh, he doesn't have much to do he just he tries to free a ladybug here but it's just too late I can recover the beetle and you see here I have uh, five um, open kill spots so and he has all his bugs um, pinned uh, in the strings just one free ant um, so my plan here is first blocking this ant so the ant is the piece that in the end game give you the chance to just make small movements right and waiting um, so once you block your opponent ants he needs to play uh, to move another piece and the other the other pieces when they move um, they don't have the mobility of the ant right so they can go only to certain positions and they might free uh, some of your pieces or go to another bad position is what's called zutzwang so you force your opponent into um, um, into a bad move um, he creates another super ring but i think at this point he he, he knew he was um it was lost um yeah here this amazing um line of grasshopper um and here there's not much to do especially because i i also have uh still two mm, pieces in reserve if i didn't have these pieces maybe it would have been different but at this point i place beetle here and then with two beetles on top of the hive um it's just a matter of time okay um and this is the game so i hope i convince you that um well uh, you probably <laughs> know if you play a bit of hive that um the defense uh, defensive skills are are extremely important and uh, a good defense can give you um uh, the victory can lead you to the victory um so i hope you enjoyed it uh 40 minutes to comment commentate this game but uh i hope i covered a bit of everything and um well see you next time for uh, for the next game game number three bye bye